What's up guys, this is Carlos the Cobra and you're here today on another episode of Men's Fashion. Today's episode is going to be on the wallet. Now a traditional wallet for guys was something of this design. You put all your cards, your cash, your, your driver's license, pictures, business cards, everything in there and over time it would get bigger and it would be very uncomfortable to sit on it. I would actually would balloon to like a football shape. Uh, if you were like me and you had a lot of stuff to carry, you actually upgraded to a trifold wallet to hold more of your stuff, but that just meant the wallet itself got bigger and bulkier and it was just really uncomfortable to sit on. Uh, it actually looked pretty comical the way it would stick out in your pants. You know, you had this big bulky thing sticking out. So the trend in men's fashion has been to go to a slimmer, thinner wallet. It holds all your cards, like this particular model here and it's it's a lot slimmer and thinner it fits in your pocket very well I actually like this particular design the only problem is this center slot is meant to hold your cash and it's meant to hold it folded not long ways so you can only fit about 30 folded bills in here and that is the max because at that point the bills are actually stretching the wallet apart you don't have any more wiggle room to stick your fingers and pull the cash out because of the way it's sewn on the edges here. So you actually have to limit yourself to 25 folded bills just so you can get your fingers in and pull your cash out. Uh, so what if you carry a lot of cash? Well, what, what's your options then, right? Well, that's why I wanted to focus today's episode on the money clip. Uh, money clip is kind of buying like buying clothes. If you don't buy the right one for your needs, for your use case scenario, you're not going to be happy with it. You're not going to use it. You're going to regret buying it and you won't ever give a second thought to using it again. So let me go over the three different sizes. You have small, medium, and large when it comes to money clips. Uh, don't bother buying the small ones. They're not cost effective and they're not practical. What I mean by practical is the small one, like for example, we're going to go with uh, two brands here, Superior Titanium and Linden. Superior Titanium can hold 30 bills. Linden can hold about 40 max. Uh, the Superior Titanium runs for about 35 bucks. The Linden runs for 10 bucks. For someone who doesn't carry a whole lot of cash, this is probably your best option. The 30, 40 bill max that you're gonna have on a money clip is gonna also include your cards. For example, the average person is gonna carry a driver's license, a debit card, credit card, and probably a department card. But what about other cards you may have? You know, game cards, gift cards, and that sort of thing. So if four cards equals the equivalent of 15 folded bills, then you're going to end up maxing that real quick. So again, the small money clip isn't practical just because with so many cards and cash, you you just won't be able to hold a lot. And they're also not cost effective and this will bring me to my second point on the medium money clips. So your first medium money clip is going to be by SF FCF which stands for Simply Carbon Fiber. Uh, they make a good quality money clip. It can hold 50 bills and it goes for 50 bucks. Uh, it's more expensive because it is carbon fiber but this is nice because it won't go off at a metal detector. So you don't have to take your cash out and put it on a on the x-ray machine or put it in a bucket or something so security can look at it. You can keep your cash, you can keep your money clip in your pocket and go through a metal detector at an airport, amusement park, casino, wherever, and you don't have to take it out. So that's what's nice about the carbon fiber. Uh, this, this one right here is their 50 bill max model and it runs for $50. The Linden medium money clip is, is made out of steel. It has a really nice strong bite to it. It also holds 50 bills max, but it costs $10. And this is where the cost effectiveness is. Their smaller model that holds 10 bills less is also $10 on Amazon. So for the same price, do you want to get one that's 40 bills max or 50 bills max? Well, if they're the same price, you're getting more bang for your buck if you get the 50 Bill Max money clip, so so that's where it's it's not cost effective to get a smaller one when for the same price you can get 
uh, something that can hold a little bit more. The next one on the list is the Superior Titanium Viper Series money clip. This one here can hold 60 bills. The smaller version of this can only hold 30 bills max, but it runs for 35 bucks. So if you got two of the small ones, you can hold 60 bills, 30 and 30, but you'd end up paying like 70 bucks for both of them. When for 50 bucks, $20 less, you can still hold the same amount of bills with one money clip. So as you can see, the smaller money clips, they hold less and they charge you more for them and you just can't hold as much cash. So uh, this one's a really nice money clip. Uh, I got 60 bills right here. Just fold it up. And there you go. Hold 60 bills with no problem. Has a nice snap to it. So there we go. Now with the medium money clips, that's where most people will choose to buy their, their money clip. I think it's practical. I think it's uh, nice. It's slim. You can use it in your pocket. You can carry a lot of cash and you carry cards with it. Moving on to the large money clips, Superior Titanium offers the T-Series and this one here is the T-100. This one can hold 100 bills max and it runs for 95 bucks. Uh, so if, if the middle size doesn't suit you, you can always get this larger one that holds more bills. Linden offers the large capacity money clip. It's slightly bigger if not the same and this one's rated to hold 120 bills so so this one here only runs $16 on Amazon so this is probably the best bang for your buck when it comes to money clips it's it's big it's not very expensive and it can hold everything you need to hold in this particular clip the titanium money clips from superior titaniums uh, they're fancier they have these laser etched designs you can get them in different colors different engravings so that's why these will cost more so if you're wanting something more cost effective the linden models are probably the best way to go last but not least is simply carbons fiber big baller money clip it runs for 150 bucks and it's supposed to hold 150 bills the problem with this is that it's made out of carbon fiber and the rim is extremely thick. So trying to fit 150 bills in here is extremely difficult. This thing has an extremely strong bite that it does not really want to fit in there very well. Uh, I was actually trying to, for the purpose of making this video, trying to fit 150 bills in here and this thing has so much pressure it's actually spring-loaded so when you are able to finally cram all that money in there trying to pull it out is very difficult it has such a strong bite that when I pulled the cash apart I was actually wrestling with it to pull it apart once I finally did the clip flew one way and all the cash flew the other way uh, luckily I was in the comfort of my own home so no problem there but uh, this, I don't think this is practical like at a department store or a grocery store just because you're wrestling with it if you need to carry that much I think the superior titanium T100 or the Linden large capacity would be the way to go the the I mean it looks cool it has a cool name big baller who, who wouldn't want to carry this but it's just an incredibly incredibly strong money clip So, I have here about 113, 113 bills, we're going to take, we're going to take 13 bills out, so that leaves us with 100 bills here for the T100. 
and as you go, as you can see, it fits well, holds well. You can pull whatever cash you want and then put it right back in. No problem. But again, this is rated for 100 bills max. So with the Linden that's rated at 120, let's put our 13 bills here back. So now we have about 113 bills here. With the Linden, just snap that on. There you go. Fits good, holds good. Put this in your pocket and you're good to go. Has a nice gentle thump to it. it works good. So let's see if we can try this with the big baller. Man, had to wrestle with that. Now, as you can see, this is carbon fiber. So I only have 113 bills. And this, this is extremely strong. Like it feels like it does not want to open any further. And I've been trying to break this in after a year. I put a bunch of dummy cards, credit cards, old driver's license and so forth to try to get this thing really open. And, and this is as far as I've gotten. Before, I could only squeeze in here 90 folded bills. Now I have 113. It, it's rated for 150 and it looks like there's room for 150 folded bills, but I don't think you could, I don't think you could squeeze that in there. There's, there's no way. This bite, this design is so strong, so stiff. Realistically, I would only recommend this for 100 bills or less. Uh, I think the 150 bill max capacity is false advertising. So if you do a Google search on Twitter, you'll find that Simply Carbon Fiber has a video where they're demonstrating 150 bills in their money clip. Uh, the video is of poor quality. It has a lot of pausing cuts in it. So it, it looks misleading that they're, they're able to fit 150 bills into the money clip. Uh, like I said, this is about 113 bills, and it's stretched to its core. You, you just can't open this anymore. Um, this is as wide as I think it'll get. So, I mean, I'll continue to try to break it in. If I get any more updates, I'll let you know. But this, this thing's stretched to the limit. So, uh, there you have it. There's all the uh, money clips. There's pretty much what they can hold, how much they cost. So again, stay away from the small ones. Most guys, I think, are going to be comfortable with a medium money clip. So the uh, Viper series is really nice. It's really attractive. If you want something a little smaller, you can go with the Linden. Um, or if you need something that goes through security without any problems, uh, Carbon Fiber from Simply Carbon Fiber will do it. Uh, if you need something a little bit bigger, you know, you have the Linden, large capacity. You obviously have the big baller from uh, Simply Carbon Fiber. And then you also have the T100. I, I think it's a cool name. It kind of sounds like the Terminator. So the T100, titanium, uh, big baller, large capacity. The large money clips seem to have the cooler names. But uh, the, the, again, the big baller is just really difficult to work with. You, you really have to try to break this in every day just to try to get it to hold this much. It took me a long time just to try to be able to put this in. And then here again, look, watch this. I'm just I'm just wrestling with it, trying to get it out. It's it's not supposed to be this difficult. So again, I don't think this is practical for everyday use. If you if you need to carry this much cash, you know, go with the linden. It goes in and ease out. Real simple, real easy. As you can see, I'm not struggling with it, so and it holds on my cash. So this one I think is a, the best buy. Uh, 120 bills max, holds everything you need, and it's you don't have to wrestle with it like like this one. This one's just extremely difficult. Um, and now for a, a little tidbit, when you have a money clip, there's actually two ways to use it. The first way 
if you have cash and cash only, cash is paper, obviously. It bends, it wiggles, it's not stiff at all. So what you do is, the first way is, if you have cash only, you open the money clip with your thumb, right? Once you open it with your thumb, you slide the cash in. And that's how you get the cash in and out with no problems. Open it with your thumb and just insert like so. The second way is if you do have cards. If you have your driver's license credit card, you just put it in the middle and that reinforces your cash so it's a lot stiffer. And at that point, you just lift up from the inside and slide your cash in. And then there you go. It would be your cash with your credit card, driver's license, whatever. So again, if, if you want the best bang for your buck, I think the Linden large capacity is the way to go. If you need something a little fancier, something custom, you can go to Superior Titanium's website, get a money clip designed, colored, etched with any engravings that you want for a little bit more. But these are the level entry. The T100 is the level entry uh, with the standard finish for 95 bucks. Or you can go with the uh, Viper series. Again, if you're holding uh, less cash, less cards, then uh, the 60 bill capacity would be fine. Uh, the Linden, they only come like black. I think they had a rainbow color and they also had a gold plated version. So if you wanted to get a nice little one that's gold plated, just that little bling bling, you're good with that. And again, the carbon fiber is not too bad if you want something fancy. Uh, that can only hold, you know, about 50 bills max as well. Then you're good with that one. But uh, again, this one, I probably wouldn't recommend this for anybody. It's just, it's nice to have in your collection, maybe used as a as a movie prop or, or if you're in a costume that requires to be like Hugh Hefner or somebody and you just want to carry it around. Um, sure, but I, I don't think it's practical to use. I just can't seem to break this in any further. Well, that's our episode for today on men's fashion. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this will educate you on money clips and show you what's the uh, best ones out there. Now, this isn't the end-all, be-all for money clips. There's other money clips out there. There are money clips with rulers, with knives, with compasses. Uh, there's even one uh, that looks like a potato chip bag. That's basically like a money clip with training wheels. Uh, the end clip, I believe it's what it's called. Uh, don't waste your time with that uh, but yeah just find a money clip that's in your size in your range that you need and uh, I think you'll definitely be happy with that selection now you know that they come in different sizes and what their costs are well that's all for today thanks for your time and I'll talk to you later